Are you looking for the best cameras for macro photography? In this video, we will look at some of the 5 best camera on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Olympus Tough TG6 Waterproof Camera. The Olympus TG6 is a versatile point-and-shoot camera, designed for capturing images in all sorts of conditions. Waterproof, dustproof, shock, crush and even freeze-proof means you can't destroy this camera. Maybe with lava. Inside, the 1-2.3 CMOS sensor produces 12-bit RAW and JPEG images at a resolution of 4000 by 3000 pixels. Olympus TG6 Macro Camera. The lens, which is the most important part, has a focal length range of 4.5 mm, 18 mm. This is the equivalent of 25 mm, 100 mm. It is a great tool for macro photography, as the macro mode lets you focus from 1 cm to infinity. Perfect for life size images of all those dangerous things you can photograph. Maybe not lava. At number 2. Panasonic Lumix DMC LX10 slash LX15. The Panasonic Lumix DMC LX10 slash LX15 is a camera powered by a 20.1 megapixel 1.0 CMOS sensor. It boasts a 5-axis hybrid optical image stabilization mechanism which helps when shooting in low light conditions. This extra playroom translates to keeping your ISO low, giving you the highest quality images. For handheld macro photography, it's more important than for other types of shooting. Panasonic Lumix DCF-Z80 is a good macro camera. This is a point-and-shoot camera that lets you use focus stacking, allowing a cleaner and crisper image with attention on the depth of field. The lens is a DC Vario Sumilux zoom lens with a focal length range of an equivalent 24 to 72 mm. It can focus from 50 cm to infinity in its normal mode, and macro mode focuses from 3 cm to all the way to infinity. This, essentially, is a better quality sibling of the compact cameras further up. At number 3. Nikon D5600 with AFB DX Nikkor 18 to 55mm f divided by 3.5-5.6 GVR lens. This kit is, in essence, the Nikon counterpart of the previous camera. They are similar in features, parts, quality, so it's up to your brand preference. Nikon's 5000 series DSLRs have always been known for their marvelous dynamic range. The D5600 will give you up to 14 stops of it, which is a market-leading value among APS-C DSLRs. The resolution of its sensor is 24 MP, enough for pretty much everything, but not overwhelmingly too much. The 18 to 55 mm kit lens coming with this camera lets you focus as close as 25 cm from your subject. Keep in mind that this value is measured from the sensor. Your working distance will be much smaller, around 10 cm. Nikon D5600 camera for macro photography. This value, just as in the case of the T6i, doesn't represent life-size macro. Instead, the magnification is around 1,2. But I would argue that this setup will still give better images than the compact cameras further up that, on paper, let you much closer. If you're still too far away, extension tubes will help you out. Just place them between the camera and the lens, and you'll be amazed by the macro world that appears in front of your eyes. At number 4. Ricoh GR3 Digital Compact Camera. You don't necessarily need a dedicated macro camera, accessory, or lens. The GR3 is a premium compact camera with a large sensor. It's not cheap, and it's not usually regarded as a macro camera. But this is only because it's more suitable for street photography. Its macro capabilities are still really impressive, and worth mentioning on this list. This camera features a fixed 18mm f-2.8 lens paired with a 24MP APS-C sensor. Both are among the best we've ever seen in a compact camera. Colors and details are outstanding, as is the user experience. A 3-touch LCD screen is the heart of the interface, but there are three control dials, and it's highly customizable. Ricoh GR3 Camera for Macro Photography With the press of a button, you can activate the macro mode. 
It will allow the lens to extend further out from the housing and focus as close as 6 centimeters from the lens. It gives you almost life-size magnification, with fantastic image quality. A touchscreen and a snappy autofocus system allow macro photography to be done with autofocus, a rare experience. If you value a portable camera over the highest possible versatility of a DSLR, this is your choice. Not only is this one of the best cameras for casual shooting and street photography, but it's awesome for macro, too. At Number 5. Canon EOS 5D Mark IV with 100mm f 2.8L is USM macro lens. While the differences in this range are marginal, we've decided to put this kit on the top of the podium. This is mainly because it's our workhorse macro camera setup, which we use in the studio all the time. We love it. The 5D Mark IV is an awesome professional camera with a full-frame, 30MP CMOS sensor. It's probably the most user-friendly professional DSLR out there because of its intuitive controls, responsive user interface, touch-sensitive LCD screen and well-thought-out button placement. Canon EOS 5D MKIV Camera for Macro Photography The 100mm f 2.8L is one of the best macro lenses I've ever used. It's not a champion in terms of magnification, none of the lenses on this list are, but it's perhaps the sharpest. And its stabilization system is a game changer, allowing for impressive handheld macro photos. It's hard to stabilize a macro lens effectively because every little hand movement is accentuated by the short working distance. Canon's hybrid IS thus can shift the entire lens along the main axis, not just the usual directions.